What's going on? In this video, we're going to discuss ManyChat and Zapier, seven things that you can do with the two platforms, how they connect, how they work together, and how they are a match made in heaven. Man, I'm telling you, if you are doing any kind of messenger marketing using ManyChat, then you have got to be using Zapier because Zapier really makes ManyChat come to life and really makes things get powerful and crazy. So stay tuned in this video because we are going to be covering how you can quiz subscribers and copy responses from ManyChat to your actual CRM, how you can automate new lead notifications to your sales team or whoever is following up on the leads to immediately be able to contact that lead as soon as it comes in. We're gonna show you how to organize, we're gonna talk about, we're not gonna show you exactly how, that's for another video, but we're gonna talk about how to organize subscriber data in Google Sheets, how to use tags to be able to trigger Zapier, how to connect with subscribers via text messaging, build your email list, get registrations for webinars, and a whole bunch more. So stay tuned in this video because it is all coming up right now. Before we jump into everything though, I gotta tell you about this amazing free cheat sheet that we will give you for free. Like I said, so it's called the 11 crucial features that your many chat messenger bot must have. If you wanna download this 100% free cheat sheet, go to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet right now. Or, or not right now, okay, wait till after this video and then head over to that bit.ly short link to be able to be sent the download links and the video tutorial that we have created for this very special cheat sheet. So again, it is a PDF cheat sheet. It's a video tutorial. We're going to talk about the 11 crucial features. Go get your copy of that 100% free by visiting bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. So jumping into the video right now, the first topic that we need to discuss is how to get your subscriber data, subscriber information, answers to questions that you ask and send that over to your CRM. So basically, it works just like a lead form. You can ask them questions just like you would in a lead form, you know, name, number, email address, and maybe a couple of other questions, but it's not as intimidating. You know, when people go to a lead form, and let's say that there are like 20 questions on this lead form, people are like, oh man, I ain't got time for this, and they bounce, they leave. So when you use ManyChat though, you can ask them the questions one at a time. You can incorporate GIFs, you can incorporate video clips, you can do little audio clips, emojis, all different cool types of media to keep the things engaging. And when you're asking the questions one at a time, they don't know that they are going to be answering at the end of it 20 questions or maybe spending more time than they thought. So you're being able to get more information from them and then you're being able to send that information over to somewhere that it really matters, whether it's your CRM or a Google Sheet like we're gonna talk about, or it's an email notification to your sales team you can do all of this magicalness with ManyChat and Zapier. Number two, you can automate the new lead notifications. So just like I said, you ask them a whole bunch of questions through ManyChat, blah, 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 you then send that automatically in an email to your sales team or to you. Like it probably happens within 15 seconds, 30 seconds after the lead comes in, and you wanna be able to follow up with them, email them right away, call them right away, get in touch with them right away because you are 100 times less likely to make contact with them if you wait after 30 minutes. So within that 30 minute window is when you wanna make sure that you or your sales team is getting in touch with these leads. All lead information can be found inside that email notification. So you can literally, setting it up in Zapier, you can put all that information inside your email and it can all be readily available at the touch of a button. When you, when you get that, you can also set it up in Zapier so that when you reply, if you wanted to reply to that message, you can hit reply and it will then send to the actual uh, email address that they provided. Or you can, be, you can jump right into ManyChat and send them a reply right there through Facebook Messenger. So this is very important that you're gonna be able to save time, you're gonna be able to get your team to follow up with leads, you're gonna be able to actually capitalize on those leads and get things going, get some money in the door, right? Number tres, that's three in Spanish, if you didn't know. Organize subscriber data in Google Sheets. So, 
You may be asking, why do I wanna put stuff in Google Sheets? Well, why don't you wanna put stuff in Google Sheets? It's amazing for being able to share the data. Let's say that you want to give the information to the many different people in your sales department. Maybe you wanna be able to look back at that data over a long term and be able to see, okay, how much leads were we getting on a weekly basis versus now, how many leads are we getting on a weekly basis? Maybe you wanna be able to sort through your data and look at how people were answering your questions back then versus how they're answering them now. Maybe you're adding information, maybe you're <coughs> whole bunch of stuff, right? It can all be there in a Google Sheet all in one place. You can create multiple tabs. You can easily export out all that data and information. So just like I said with number one, putting it into your CRM, maybe your CRM is sucky, maybe you don't wanna pay for a CRM. Well, Google Sheets is 100% free and that can kind of act like your CRM. Maybe you, it goes into Google Sheets, you copy paste that information into your other Google Sheet, which acts like your CRM because I have definitely used Google Sheets as a CRM for multiple different businesses over many years because I don't wanna pay high rise Salesforce or all the other things like that. So. You can easily set this up connecting ManyChat, going to Zapier, then creating a Google Sheet, pop, 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 pop. It goes and updates a new row. It actually creates a new row inside your Google Sheet. So you can segment your subscribers based on behaviors, level of engagement, interest. You can organize everything inside your Google Sheet to have it exactly how you want it. Number four, use tags and triggers to follow up. So. This is super important. If you are doing any kind of automation, message sequencing, stuff like that inside ManyChat, then you have got to be able to organize who's clicking, who's not clicking, the different buckets of the types of people that you are trying to sell to and engage with. So here's a very basic example of how you may wanna segment your audience. So let's say that you have a, a digital product that you are selling and you can either do it for them or you can um, teach them how to do it in a course that you sell or maybe you, you teach them how to do it. So your audience is gonna consist of do-it-yourselfers and people that are just looking for a company to do it for them. So it's very important that you segment those two groups of people out because you're gonna be marketing and advertising differently to those two different types of people. If somebody is a do-it-yourselfer, you can provide content of like how-tos, instructional stuff, tutorial stuff, because they're gonna to wanna to learn how to do it themselves. Versus the done for you, you give them content and information based on ways that they can easily find the team, that they can hire you to do it for them, that you know, that they can outsource in the best way to source that talent and get it done in the best way for the best cost for their business. So organizing, organizing your audience in that way is extremely important. You can also trigger a Zapier automation. So as soon as somebody gets tagged, so let's say that they've entered in their name, number, email, you can set up a zap so that it, it, a tag gets added, a zap gets created, and that information is then sent over you and then maybe you have three additional questions, but you're kind of, you know, you don't, you're not sure if people are actually gonna answer those three additional questions. So you can set the tag to trigger as soon as you get that important information, like their name, number, and email. Then you ask those three questions. Then you have a different tag that gets added to that. And then that triggers a secondary zap. So yes, you are gonna be getting, you're gonna be getting two. <laughs> two notification emails or two lines on your Google spreadsheet are gonna be updated, but a lot of people may bounce out and leave after they give you their name, number, and email because people are like flies and we only have an attention span of like two seconds and then it's gone, right? So um, that is super important. I've done this a lot, a lot of split testing with this and a lot of people don't answer all the questions. They don't completely finish things. So setting up multiple triggers for zaps is gonna be pretty hugely important for you getting those leads and following up with those prospects. Knowing where your customers are in your overall funnel, and you can do this with tags. So you can have a tag be added or a tag be removed based on certain things that they clicked on. So if they clicked to watch the intro video, then you know that they are at the very top of your funnel. If they clicked on to watch a sales presentation or a pitch video or of something that's a little bit deeper in your funnel, you know, maybe a piece of content that's for a more advanced marketer or something so you know that they've progressed a good amount, you can add a little remove tag type of message uh, feature inside ManyChat. You can have them removed from the clicked 
watch intro video and you can have a new tag added saying clicked watch advanced video, something like that. So being able to organize your list and trigger zaps is incredibly important to be able to know where they are in the customer journey, tell who's a warm lead, tell who's a colder lead so that you can dictate your content and things like that. You can also be able to tell which call to actions are getting the most clicks based on the data that you're seeing with your tags and things like that. Number cinco, number five, number five, like that. <laughs> You can connect with your subscribers via text message marketing. So you can ask your ManyChat subscribers for their phone number, you get their phone number, you zap it over to a software like ClickSend, and then you shoot them a text message and you say, what up, I'm in your phone. So I don't know, and, you know, maybe you don't say something, maybe you're a little bit more professional with how you do your text message marketing, but you gotta remember, text message marketing is like pretty intrusive. People may get pissed off if you text them too many times. So you really wanna be careful with how often you hit them with a text, um, telling them that you are gonna hit them with a text and things like that because you do not wanna piss off your audience as soon as they just opted into you. So. Um, you can use SMS text message marketing with ManyChat using Zapier. Um, you can do it for more time sensitive things like let's say you're doing a flash sale and you want everybody to know 100% that this sale is going to be ending in three hours or 24 hours or whatever. Sometimes if you hit them with text, email and a ManyChat message or Facebook Messenger message, um, there is a larger chance that you're gonna be able to actually grab their attention and get them to know about your flash sale and take advantage of your flash sale. You wanna be able to talk to your audience in the place that is the most convenient for them. So some people don't check their emails on the weekends, they just check out. Some people are not big on Facebook Messenger. They don't really care so much, but they do occasionally use it, but they don't have their Facebook, you know, their cell phone notifications on. But maybe they are hardcore in into text message marketing. They always have their, their cell phone notifications on. So maybe that's the place that you hit them with. Or maybe they're big on Facebook Messenger, so you hit them there. But you wanna be able to hit them in multiple places, get multiple assets and get that attachment in from them in multiple places to be able to shake them up and tell them your message, tell them what you're trying to get them to do and ultimately help them, right? Bring them value so that they can bring you some value with some of that money, you know what I'm talking about? So, number six, six. Anyway, build your email list as you gain subscribers. So you can ask your many chat subscribers for their email in a message to be contacted in both ways. Now you wanna figure out a good reason to do this. You don't wanna just say, hey, uh, what's your email address? And we'll send it to you there too. That may work, that may not work. You want to create special offers. Once you have them as a mini chat or Facebook Messenger subscriber, figure out a way to be like, hey, um, we wanna send this to you. You know, uh, Give us your email address and this is the best way to receive this because of X, Y, Z. So have a really good reason to send it to their email. Say maybe we're using a platform that doesn't work well with ManyChat and we wanna send it to you email. Maybe we wanna say, hey, we wanna send this to you in email because you'll be able to bookmark it, save it, and make sure that you refer back to it later. It'll be in one spot in your email and very easy to get to, but you wanna have a really good reason for being able to get their email from them. You wanna be able to leverage one platform to be able to build up your other platforms. So if you're building up this old, big old mini chat messenger subscriber list, then you can build your email list. You can build your YouTube channel, your Facebook page, your Twitter page, your Instagram. So you'd be, you wanna be able to feed two birds with one seed. And you know maybe you break that seed in half and then you feed two birds with it. I don't know, I, you know, being able to, to leverage um, multiple platforms is going to ensure that you actually own that subscriber. And so just to give you an idea, uh, let's say that you're growing this big old massive uh, YouTube subscriber base. And then one day YouTube pisses, you know, you piss YouTube off and they hate you. So they delete your account or they just mess you up or maybe an algorithm changes and now you can't reach your subscribers as easy now. Well, you put all your eggs in one basket and YouTube just said, hey, you're done, and so you're out. You did not do any marketing to get their email address, get them on ManyChat, get them on your other platforms, so you are completely done, dead in the water. You don't want that to happen to you, so you wanna be able to build your multiple assets to be able to 
if if one platform kicks you off, boom, you got email, boom, you got mini chat. You can use those two platforms to then maybe start a new account with YouTube or, or things like that. Using email is like that's like your real asset, right? Because mini chat, you know, Facebook can easily shut down your Facebook fan page, but an email that is a uh, long-term asset to hold and you can also I'm not I'm not saying I, I recommend this but you can sell your email list and uh, you know sell it to other people and have them market to your email list so it's a great asset to start building but you can also use email for long-form information educational content news updates and just kind of staying top of mind as like a uh, maybe using different content in the email platform so I highly recommend growing both, you know, mini chat and email. Don't just bail on email and just do mini chat. So stuff like that. Number seven. Oh, what am I doing here? Yep. Seven. Gather registration for webinars and events more efficiently. So offer your audience a simple way to RSVP to an event without leaving messenger. You go Facebook ad, boom, into messenger, ask them those quick little questions. Now they're into an event. You zap that over uh, into your ever webinar into your go to webinar into your different software platforms like that and you can get them opted into your webinar or into your uh, actual physical three dimensional event that's out in the real world you get them registered for that maybe um, Eventbrite I think that's a really big one but you can collect the information through ManyChat set up a zap zap that over and you can be good with getting people registered for that so one little reminder in case you forgot already you need to download the free cheat sheet you are going to learn a ton of information in this pdf and video step-by-step -step tutorial that we have put together for you so go to bit.ly slash mc cheat sheet and download that right now we're going to send it to you through a facebook messenger message and it's going to be links to watch the video to download the pdf you're going to learn a whole bunch let me know what you think about that leave a comment in this post in this video let me know what you think hit the like button download the cheat sheet thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace